Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play God of War Blind for the PS2. In the last episode, we got to this uh, big old guy, Titan, in the desert and climbed his back and got into this temple. This episode, I'm kind of scared. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try to solve some really difficult puzzles. So, let's just stop being a bitch and do it. Can I... This door seems to be locked. There's a skull-shaped hollow in the door. Did I read that last time? Or no, I gotta do this. I forgot to do this. Oh, hey! Well, hey, wait a second. Go back. Uh, there was something in this room. Whoa. Camera angle. There we go. Uh, I do want to go in this water. I saw there was water in the middle. I thought it was just kind of a, a chasm, but... There is water here, so let's go ahead and go in the water and dive down. Yeah, there's something down there. How do I, how do I dive? How do I do this? Or can I? Can I go down there? None of the buttons are working. Whoa, I turned on my afro mode in the water. Didn't know I could do that. It's good to know, though, I guess. Mohawk mode. All right, well, I guess I can. All right, so I'll just go back to the turnstile thing and do that. The water probably has to do with something once you figure something, so, something, something. All right. And push, 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 push around in a circle. Push, 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 push. Was I supposed to turn it the other way? I might have. Because I see nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. There's one. There we go. What's in here? I see a, t a broken door. Made of golden chicks. Carvings of the Muses, daughters of Lord Zeus, they are made from solid gold. Two of the carvings are missing. Alright, so I have to find two Muse carvings, bring them back to this door, place them there. It's very Resident Evil 4-ish. Like that one where you have to find the stone carvings of the animals and put them in place. Any other rooms? I had a feeling I was supposed to go the other way. Or maybe it doesn't turn the other way, who knows? There's one. Very evil Sauron looking room. Uh. The fuck? Artemis. Kratos. The gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift. And use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemy. Oh shit, so I have Artemis's blade? Yeah, Blade of Artemis. Select Blade of Artemis on and off by holding L and with the gods, Kratos. Alright. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Nito! Oh shit. Now this doesn't take away from challenge of atlas and there's a save point oh god i have a feeling or not all right well i want to use this new blade actually hang on so this doesn't take away from my magic or anything it's just really big and badass huh i will say it's no blades of chaos i don't get to sling it around like a like a like a john wayne gunslinger but it is pretty nice. It seems to be a lot more powerful than the blades. I will, I will give it that. Uh, take away the the range and mobility of the blades of chaos. When with this you just get sheer power, which in a hack and slash is not a bad thing. At least from what I've seen, it's definitely working on these little miniature guys. But we'll see how it works on bigger enemies. Haven't tried a, a big attack with it. Oh jeez. See, that's too slow. Uh, heavy attacks are too slow. With this blade. Oh, there's a Medusa thing. Just gonna... Oh, shit. Uh, these aren't the ones that turn me to stone, is it? Oh, shit. Don't want... Oh, can't have that. Can't have that at all. Just... Oh, shit. No, see? Uh, that kind of shit right there. That's the shit that pisses me off. Alright, give me this big-ass blade. That's all right. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to shoot lightning bolts out my ass to kill those bitches. 
I feel that's kind of a bit OP for them. I, I, I'll have to say. Unless there's something in this room that helps me out or something. Souls here. There's life in these jars. That one just pretty much climbed out of the wall. That was interesting. Cut him in half. The sound is very loud in my ear, and I can't turn down any lower without completely getting rid of it, and I don't want to miss anything the game has to tell me. Surprised I have to say that about a video game when story means nothing to me. Let's just take a stroll. Leisurely stroll. Oh, I can go through there. Don't want to yet. Oh, there's a Medusa in there. All right, then. Oh, shit. You know what? There's a bridge in the middle over water that's only, like, foot deep. I don't see why that's necessary. Stop it now. Oh, I almost got her. Hang on. Come here, bitch. Here we go. Turn, turn, turn. Pull that bitch's head off. That works for me. And I get mana for it, too. Nice. Oh, so, okay. Here's something I have to uh, talk about. I just recently got back into Magic the Gathering. And if you don't know what that is, or you don't give a shit about it, then you won't care what I'm about to say. But it's... The new Magic sets are, are, are fantastic. At least one, uh, two of them are. Uh, Return to Ravnica is not very good because it doesn't involve any of the, uh, the, the, uh, the guilds that I give a shit about. Which are... Oh, shit. No! No, what? Dude! Man, I don't see why... I don't see how that's a thing, dude. That's stupid. Um, Return... The new block, they went back to uh, the Ravnica set, which was the set that pretty much got me into the game came out like 05, the Ravnica set, uh, or the Ravnica block. The first set of the block, this new one, is Return to Ravnica, which have two, which don't have any of the, uh, the, the guilds that I give a shit about, which are Boros and Simic. And just up until like last week, I didn't give a shit about Simic either, but I'll tell you why uh, here in a bit. So, when I first started playing, I just played Boros. I got a Boros structure deck, and I loved that thing. And I still p just play red-white pretty much to this day, or at least up until last week. Because I feel like it, it saves money on cards, and it, I just, I like, I like what the colors do, I in general. So, needless to say, I, I took a break from Magic, I took about a two-year break from Magic because it was it was sucking up all my money and you know I just I couldn't I oh very good very good very good it was just sucking up all my money and considering I didn't have a job when I was younger you know whatever it just was not something I needed to be into plain and simple so now that I have a really good job nah. all right I don't think those Medusas are actually as hard as I made them out to be. I think something I wasn't noticing initially is the fact that whenever they have that gaze on you, whether you're frozen or not, it hurts you. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, it's just that if they do it enough, it'll kill you. Pretty sure that's what it was. I'm just, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to chalk it up to. Because I died a couple more times. That was annoying. Alright, what was I talking about? Um, I actually have a job to where I could afford magic cards if I wanted to buy them. Because back in the day, whenever I would... God, stop it! Dang! Let me grab onto you! Oh, I swear if you guys kill me, ladies. Um, I got to the point where I would walk out of card stores with like 10 or fewer cards. And, you know, having spent like 30 or 40, 50 dollars somewhere in that range. And I was like, wait a second. I just spent all that money on cardboard. You know, it's like there's plenty of other things that I could have spent that money on that is not this. And I, I got to the point where I was just like, okay, I, I have to stop this. Because there's no way you can like master it. They just come out with new set after new set. But in this case, they went back to what I like in the card sets. And I, I must admit that they're very, it's a very good uh, block. The first set, like I said, doesn't really matter to me too much. Did I push this thing? Yes, I do. First set doesn't really matter to me too much because it had neither Simic nor Boros in it. The second two sets in the, in the block do uh, Gate Crash 
and Dragon's Maze, which just came out last weekend. Now, the Dragon's Maze, I, I'm i doing my best to try and kind of, uh, you know, be be one of the regulars at the local card shop that, that I live near. And, oh man, I just, just killing them, just slicing them right in half. I like this Artemis' blade. And they just came back, what the hell? I'm doing my best to become a regular up there at the shop, even though I'm not really going to be able to, considering my work schedule. I never get to attend any of the Friday Night Magic, which is just unfortunate. Or else I probably would spend some money on some cards. An image is carved into the door. Two Greek soldiers are battling over Pandora's box. Both of their shields are missing. Alright, so I need to find two shields. Is that what this, these are? This is thing? What? Alright, hang on. So if I had the money... Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Alright. If I had the money, and I... Which I do. And I, if I had the time, which I don't, I would go and... Uh, can't get it up there, huh? Oh, almost did it. Damn. If I had the time, I would definitely go and uh, go to Friday Night Magic every single Friday, but I, I'm just working and I can't do it. That's just... It's just the way it is, unfortunately. So, I've decided to... Oh, I got a roll. Oh, I got a roll onto it. Okay, that's slick. I like that. Uh, I can't go. I really, really, really wish I could, or else I would, you know, school them new kids about what's up when it comes to magic. Uh, but the reason I got so interested in it, again, even just, uh, you know, briefly, is not only uh, are the new sets really nice, but I attended a draft uh, last Friday night, which I, out of, out of six people, and I'll explain what that is here in a second. Out of six people, I got like third or fourth, something like that. Uh, I went four and four overall. And then I went to another draft last Sunday, which I went I went five and three in, and I got second out of eight people. So I did a hell of a lot better in that draft. I really liked it. So for those of you who don't know, which is probably everyone, uh, a draft, at least in Magic format, is uh, you... you spend about 15 to 10 bucks depending on wherever you go to draft and I thought there was a chest there you spend about 15 to 10 dollars to draft it you get three packs of cards in this case it was one oh there's the chest in this case it was one pack from each uh, set in the block so one return to Ravnica set one gate crash and one dragon's maze and you open up the first pack and the way a draft works is you, you open a pack and you take one card out of it that you want for your deck. So the first draft, I, I, uh, we did three packs and the one that I got, I went four and four in. And in that draft, I went for Boros. I went for red-white, which is my normal colors. <coughs> so, <coughs> oh boy, I'm sneezing like crazy. Where am I supposed to go? That's a good question. There's a ladder here. Oh, all right. First draft I went for Boros because that was just kind of the colors that came to me. Second draft, instead of drafting one, one, and one, which is what they call it, you know, instead of drafting one pack from uh, each set, what they did, what is this? A gold shield rest in the altar. There's a picture of Zeus card. Will you pick it up? Yes, I want that. Thank you. Shield of Zeus. So instead of one, one, and one, we did um, two packs. I don't remember what they were from. I think they were both Dragon's Maze, maybe? The third pack wasn't even a pack. It was from a, uh, a guild pack. They have these specials out where uh, instead of... It's like, they're like $25, and you get four packs of cards, and you get two guild packs, which are two specialized packs of 15 cards, because 15 cards come in a pack normally. And, uh, whoa, I just jumped there, didn't mean to. And instead of random cards, you get 15 cards related all to the exact guild that you want. And in this case, in this draft, the, uh, the guild packs were random. And I, know, I knew beforehand there was only one Boros guild pack on the board, and I did not get it. So instead, I got a Simic. 
guild pack, which is a blue-green. As opposed to red-white, it's blue-green. So obviously two colors I never play. So needless to say, I thought I was at a bit of a disadvantage. But, that being said, the cards that I managed to get out of this guild pack and then one other uh, card that got around to me in the draft, because normally when you're drafting, there's one rare card in each pack, sometimes two, but at least always one. So if it's a really, really good card and you're drafting and it doesn't match the colors that you're wanting to play, you know, if it's a really good, expensive card, you're going to take that card, you know. So, I'm trying to look for this last stupid shield. Can't find it. It's not there, that's for sure. Where's this last shield? What the heck? It's not in there. It's not over here. It's not there, huh. So, in this case, I got two really good cards. And for those of you who know magic, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you what they were. The first one was a Simic Manipulator. The second of which was... Uh, the three cost uh, Simic Legendary that doubles tokens, which the oh, fuck, which those together just beat the crap out of people. That was the main combo in that deck that I was running, and I I beat the crap out of people, and it got to the point where I actually played the store owner in my second game. My first game I won 2-0. It's a pretty easy matchup. Second game, I uh, went up against the store owner, and I beat him 2-1, including in one of those games, I think was the proudest move I've ever made in a Magic game, literally. It, it was my favorite, and uh, I'll, go ahead, I'll go ahead and describe it to you, for those of you who are curious. Where is this last shield? As I walk around like an idiot trying to find this shield, um, he had... He, I had him on the ropes a little bit because I had that nice uh, combo out on the field. He played some card where he had like a 2-2 and a 3-3 token out on the board. And I had a Civic Manipulator with one token on it. And uh, I was totally tapped out of mana at the time. And the turn prior to this turn, I had stolen with the Civic Manipulator like a this two-cost Grohl creature that... Uh, where's this last shield? I hear enemies, obviously. Don't see any, though. I think I gotta go up that, uh... Gotta go up here. I stole this, uh, little 1-1 one, one measly... Oh, here we go. Little creature that produced a green mana. And at the time, when it was his turn and he attacked me with these two tokens, I was totally tapped out on mana. I had one card in hand. So he even said that before he acted. He was like, you're totally tapped out. So, and then he attacked me with both. So he, one of those tokens, the bigger one, the 3-3, three, three, uh, all my creatures had to block it. And I don't think I attacked the prior turn, so I had all my creatures untapped. So, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I had to block with everything. So instead of blocking with everything, I thought about it for a second. I went, okay. I tapped that creature I took from him for the green, and I only had one card in hand, as I said. It was a one-cost green instant, which I went ahead and played. It was a card that let me put a 1-1 one, one token on any creature I choose and to untap that card. I think it's called Burst of Strength, something like that. Anyways, didn't want that sword out. Anyways, uh, I put that 1-1 one, one on the Stimic Manipulator, which gave it two tokens. I tapped it to take the two tokens off to take his 2-2 two, two creature. What is this? And then I uh, used that to block, saving my manipulator and uh, basically board wiping him. And I attacked clean the next turn and it was all good. It was, it was, I loved that play. I just, I loved it. Where the hell is this shield? So I won my first game 2-0. We always go best to three. Won my first game 2-0, won my second game 2-1, and I lost the third game 1-2, which was really disappointing because I found out after that game that if I had won, uh, I would have won the whole entire thing, which would have been nice. Can I move this thing? Oh, here we go. Pull it. There we go. Pull, not push. So I almost won the entire draft, which I would have been just ecstatic about. Oh, it plugs the thing down there. 
Gurr just puts a... All right. Okay. Just gonna climb down here, or slide down, whatever. Hopefully I can find my little shield. Look at those guys. So I was doing really, really well. And uh, when I won the draft, or got second the draft, should I say, I won four packs of cards, which I opened, obviously, and, uh, oh shit, I forgot what the good mechanics on the rope uh, attacks are. I opened up those packs, and I actually got another copy of that legendary uh, card that doubles tokens, so I said, screw it, and I'm just going to start a Simic deck, T2 Simic deck, which, uh, I haven't bought any cards since then because I honestly don't need to buy any and I'll get into that in the next episode because that's a whole nother topic entirely. <laughs> Left, right, 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 boom. Just get off my fucking rope. Right, 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 right. There we go. I know there's an extra attack here but I don't really feel like using it. It's Oh, it's the triangle. Oh yeah, it's the more ranged attack. It's more range, but it it's, has a longer uh, cooldown. It's gonna try to kick you off the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. All right, there we go. So let's hop off. Let's grab some health and some mana. Really, really want my shield here. I didn't think this would take this long to get two damn shields. Here's a wall which I can't break. Oh, here it is. Awesome. Yes, I'll pick it up. I already know what it is. Shield of Hades. Oh, and there's an evil doggy face thing. It reminds me of the dogs from the uh, new... Oh, there's a spike wall. That's what that is. Fuck. Actually, you know what? Let's get my big... Here we go. Let's get my big blade out. Oh, I can't pass until I kill all the enemies. Oh, God. You shall not pass. All right. Well, hopefully that wall will push them closer to me. Oh, there's bigger guys, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need to let the Rage of the Gods flow through me, because i got to kill all these people before that wall gets to me. This, I'm going to cut it close, too. Oh, oh, I thought the camera was uh, going to look at the wall coming toward me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. They just keep coming, too. I don't see an end. Is that wall coming toward me, or is this going really, really slowly? Do I have a lot more time than I think I do? Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of. All right, well, let's throw Thunderbolts. Whatever I can use to get out of a pickle here. I'm button mashing like crazy, but I can't seem to pull anyone out of my range. All right, let's, hang on, hang on, hang on. They keep, they just keep coming, dude. It's fucking. Maybe I should start to use that circle move on the bigger enemies there. They just keep coming. See, and there's the wall. All right. Oh, I have my mohawk mode. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, here we go. Hey, fuck everyone and their moms. Their, their undead Roman moms. I gotta have it. Let, oh, I was about to say, thank you. The wall was relatively close. Very happy I remembered that A, I had my mohawk mode, and B, to activate it. Phew, that actually saved my life. My weird Grecian life. Where am I going? Not behind the chests. Down here? Or no, just gonna, just, just gonna kill myself. Didn't feel like living. Thankfully, uh, that was a checkpoint right there. That's great. Didn't have to cut or anything. Oh, don't want that. I want health. There we go. All right, so we're gonna hop back up here. Put the sh uh, next shield in, and then we're probably gonna save and go to the next episode. Then I can tell my complicated story about what I've been doing for whatever been thinking about for the past week or so revelation that has hit me and I'm like I I have to do this I have to do this for various reasons but I just I have to do it it's about cars actually which honest to god I don't know shit about cars so maybe somebody could actually help me but cars all right there goes that now just gonna go down here, there's a safe point. All right, so in the next episode, we are going to climb this ladder and uh, maybe run into that uh, complicated box puzzle that I've been hearing a lot about. All right, so until then, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here. I just saluted. You couldn't see it, but I, I did it.